Right guys and girls, three new drivers from Cobra Aerojet. So we've got a max version, you can see two weights more towards the heel, I presume in more jaw bias. Then we've got a standard Aerojet, weight just at the back, usually means high MRI. And then we've got the LS where you can see the two weights here at the front. Who are they for? Who could benefit from these Aerojets as we test numbers on the course testing? All three heads. What have you got going then, Cobra? So down by the ball, three heads are looking super nice. This is the Max, I feel like it's bigger. It sits bigger than the other two. This is the standard and the LS almost look the same, apart from when we get to the back and we'll look at the, ta uh, the tech. But looking down, the cosmetics of all three are exactly the same. Combination of graphite top with this kind of matte finish along the top line. And the Max definitely comes out looking as the biggest most stretched back out of three lots of carbon all over as well on these clubs Let's see what they sound like this is the ls and it does look really good down by the ball oh yeah that is a bullet straight one loving that <laughs> it has to be said that's not a bad opener from cobra there it's pretty cold this morning so anything getting down here ah oh. I'll take the birdie. Um, this time of year, it's pretty good. So looking at the max, it sits definitely bigger down by the ball and the back of it down here is more stretched back and kind of hugging the ground, which you'll see in the tech. You can see how flat the back of that is, trying to get that center of gravity deep and back. And then we do see the weights in the heel because I presume this is a more draw biased version. Could do with a little draw down here and uh, you're in a slightly precarious position there, audience. I hope I don't hit you. <laughs> My mic came off there, so I apologise. It was a good hit, and it sounded nice. The club, not the mic. Right, as I go down and see where that one has finished, let's see what Cobra are saying about these drivers. So the top three technologies in the Aerojet, it's an advanced aerodynamic so they streamline the shaping uh, adding the club head speed to your swing is what they're saying you got the pwr bridge weighting lower forward positions delivers ball speed and low spin obviously in appropriate models pwr shell hot face 15 individual hot spots increases speed and launch so they're working on the face so it's a progressive aero shaping as well so the low spin model has the highest back end giving it aerodynamics and then the aerojet is medium raised back end so the weight is back but not drop low and then the max is its lowest and furthest back so progressive aerodynamic shaping with the low speed probably being the most aerodynamic out of all of them PWR bridge weightings in all three clubs. It delivers more speed, more launch, and more distance is their claim. We'll see if we find that in the numbers. It's a multi-material construction, carbon tech, fin ply carbon tech. So on the top and on the bottom, 30% thinner. So they're really pushing their weight distributions. And then you do have the weights in the heel more for the max, giving it that draw bias at the back for the Aerojet, pretty neutral, the slight draw. And then forward and even in the LS, giving it definitely a bit more of a fade bias. And then one last little thing, just millimeters, but the LS has a slightly shallower face again, trying to equate to that little bit more aerodynamics, but it's a millimeter i don't think we're going to find the differences in those three particularly decent drive i'm normally way further right than this and this club definitely felt like it was going to have more of a tendency to turn left you know for lots of golfers that might just calm down some levels of curvature which is good I, again don't think the draw drivers will turn your slices into draws that's not how it works but it could certainly calm curvature down so for me as a neutral relatively straight hitter with a little bit of draw it can turn it into a bigger draw which is often why i move away a little bit from this club subject to what swing thought i'm working on just a little wedge in there and i wish that had more draw to it because that's just hit the right side of the green <laughs> As always from Cobra, decent amount of tech and their kind of forward thinking and their good looking drivers. Should we check out what the standard aerospace 
feels and sounds like. And we've got the numbers on these to show as well. Also, I, which driver's going to get me near my 170 ball speed, which I can't hit? I've hit once or twice. At the moment, training's not going so well with Christmas coming. So I'm not sure any of them will. So let's go with the standard Aerojet next. Again, it's all the same. Very nice looks. Plenty of club head down by the ball. Again, you definitely notice the back in the tech that we're talking about, the skirt at the back being raised or hugging the ground more. Like you wouldn't notice it unless they say it, you see it. And it's not a bad thing, it looks fine. I mean, the look of this Cobra driver is fantastic. Like all of them look super nice. I really like, and it's so basic, but I do like this cutaway. It just frames nicely and I don't know why. I just like the matte finish as well of this top line looks really, really good. Let's see how this compares to the other two. More neutral in everything it looks. I feel like I could do what I want with this. You know, it's going to be slightly more drawy in imagination than the LS, but not drawy compared to the Max. I've caught it slightly off the toe, so it is drawing up towards that bunker, but for where I hit that, to again, it sounds consistent throughout the three. It feels at the moment, it feels like you're getting that nice kind of carbon sound, which for lots of golfers at the moment, they do like duller but that's what people seem to like at the minute. So let's hit all three up against each other. This is the max to kick us off, and it really stands out as so friendly down by the ball. Like the footprint looks massive with the stretch back low tail. It definitely is gonna help people reduce curvature all day long. Sounds good, definitely again, sounding very carbon feely. I'm going with the standard one next. Again, looks great. Aerodynamics, oh, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going any faster. As much as I want to go way faster, just towed that and drawing back to the kind of center right. Again, feels good. Carbony, obviously, and the LS to finish. Obviously, the kind of bridge that they put in all these drivers. Sometimes I think with tech, it's more about them being impressed with their achievements rather than us being able to see noticeable differences when we test because our deviations are so huge. And the, the LS definitely feels more, I hit that wow, and it's just moving off to the right, kind of around the right side. I mean, the shaping's there. The sound's consistent with all three. The looks are good. And with three heads, I just feel like there is a head for everybody if this is the brand that you want to go for. Should we go inside? Let's go and have a look at the numbers of what we can actually get out of these three heads. Feels great, certainly on the duller side if that's what you're after. Looks fantastic as always from Cobra. Let's see what the indoor numbers and performance comes out like. So I've captured some numbers. Let's take a look at what Aerojet is delivering in the numbers department. Does it actually perform? So we can see the max here at the top, 162, 162 ball speed to near a 163 with the Aerojet and then 164 jump with the LS. It was the last one I tested. I could go around again. I reckon we're going to see one mile an hour difference if we just hit enough shots and standard deviations of these are pretty much overlapping the more than they would with more shots look at the three circles quite interesting the max with the furthest left joint with the ls but the ls is certainly the biggest deviation short and long left and right low speed models that's often the way the deviations can be bigger the top ends often can be longer which is what i get sold into and kind of fantasize about and get kind of seduced by and we all do but then those deviations on the on the course when you play will punish you you need them tight so it's always the balance in golf club design. And you can see that here from the top end. I mean, 189 average, six yards, standard deviation, 186 in the Aerojet down to 178 in the max, but then the max has an eight yard standard deviation on the carry, so short and long, meaning it, again, these cross over, they all cross over. You could really dial each one of these in and make it do what you want to do. Interesting that the spin model kind of follows suit, certainly the um, LS down near 2000s, two and a half ish to two and a half or two seven in the max launching all very very similar the numbers are really good this is promising 164 170 ball speeds what i'm going for i'm going to use the max ls max do you reckon i can do it let's finish with a few like flat outers um we could have some wild t shots here low spin model flat out get on that's a bullet straight slightly out the bottom but it's look at it. it's arrow straight 
the draw or the max definitely feels like I'm going to turn it left. This one feels like it's, I can turn it left because I can tow anything and turn it, but it does feel straight at a slightly fadey, or for me at the moment being slightly drawy, it straightens me out. 165 ball, 170 is the goal going into 2023, or you watching this in 2023. That's going left, but I've pounded it. One, six, seven. So club face control, not there. Strike was brilliant. That is miles left. But that's a one, six, seven ball. If I can stay up there, I'll learn to hit it straight. I've done that before and I feel like I can do that. I don't hit 170 enough. That's what I want to hit more of. That'll be sorted out second. Again, beefy hit. 166, I think I saw. Look at that. There's the low spin. I'm not sure that's a misread or not. That felt better than that. Really fell out the air. Yeah, one four spin. But 166 ball. Couple more. Just push my shoulder, turn that a bit more with my hip whip on the downswing. Yes, his strike goes 164. So speed was higher. But strike wasn't there. That comes from me really trying to get this as far back as I can. And this is far out with my hips going. So stretching this out as much as I can. That last one was struck. 168-ish, maybe a 169. Ah, oh, not the strike. Yeah, 167. Oh, I just need to hit that more centered. And we'll be close to 170. 167 ball, 290 carry, 24 spin. I need to get on my training again. I've been lax training, been so busy. Fitting in the training to get faster is hard with life in the way. All right, this one's going to be a 168 if struck. I think it's struck. 167. Oh, it's so close. See, and that felt better struck than that for that to be dipping, but that's the trouble with the low spins. One more. Yeah, uh, it's the game, 167, I'm leveling, 167, happy with that. Right, I'm going to hit one more, 167-ish, trying to hit target. You can see how much I'm dipping them left, because 17 spin, it's just not enough spin to control any deviation on strikes. So I'm going to finish on a more gameable shot, in theory. So I'm now first tee, but wanting to send it, but still wanting to play the hole now. Gives me a slightly different feel. So we've hit target. And the ball speed's probably dropped. This is me over speed training to give you an idea. What was the ball speed there? It's a long shot because it's low spinning. 163. If I can game 163, trying to hit fairway, gaming 165, touching 170, which is the goal, is doable. Come on. I just, it's the off course work I need to do more of. Three good drivers from Cobra. I think there's something there for everybody. If you want the low spin, you want that. I mean, I was getting good ball speeds with the aero jet standard. Definitely could, I probably would end up gaming that if I was in this brand. And I think the Max is appealing for lots of people. They sound good, they feel good, they always look good. And they're not afraid to try and go for it with pushing tech Cobra, more than people give them credit for. Would you test them? Are you testing them? Do you play Cobra drivers already? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.